Scottish Water has set a goal to achieve net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2040. We aim to balance the emissions we cannot eliminate by increasing the amount of carbon dioxide captured and stored in our land holdings. Our land already stores significant amounts of carbon in the soils and in nature. We own over 22,000 hectares of land across Scotland, that's more than 30,000 football pitches. This covers woodland, grassland, moorland and important drinking water catchments such as here in Loch Katrin. We will protect our existing carbon stocks and to increase the amount of carbon dioxide we store each year on our land holdings. Peatland across Scotland holds millions of tonnes of carbon. In poor condition, it can be a significant source of greenhouse gases as well as impacting water quality. We are working to improve the quality of peatland, raising water levels and stopping it drying out. This secures carbon, improves water quality and contributes significantly to Scotland's biodiversity. Working with stakeholders, we aim to improve 400 hectares of peatland across several catchments this year and are committed to restoring all peatland on Scottish water land. Planting trees is one of the more recognisable ways of storing carbon. We need to increase the amount of woodland cover across our land holdings by over 5,000 hectares or 8,000 football pitches over the next 20 years. Within the land management plan we're working on with Forestry and Land Scotland, we're looking at areas such as this, which as you can see, have a relatively low level of mature trees. We're looking to find out how we can actually improve the tree cover in this area to store carbon, to increase biodiversity, but also to increase the stability of the catchment that prevents erosion and impacts on water quality. Here in Loch Catrin, we are working with Forestry and Land Scotland to support the development of a land management plan for the catchment. This will take account of the existing land use, the biodiversity and recreational value, and the drinking water needs we have in Scottish water, whilst aiming to significantly increase the amount of natural woodland in the catchment in the coming years. In other areas, we are planning to convert 100 hectares of former grazing land to new woodland and are developing a portfolio of opportunities to work in partnership with tenant farmers and others to establish many more projects. This might be through woodland creation projects or it may be simply at looking at how we improve the way the land is managed to support increased carbon capture in soils and in nature. This will help deliver our net zero emissions goals and provide wider benefit to nature and biodiversity and the value of Scotland's landscape.